AFL Supremo had the first word on uh, Saturday morning when he faced a barrage of media cameras and he was also uh, joined along with Chairman of the AFL Commission in John Kennedy. I really believe this is a um, terrific deal for Australian rules footy and I think it's a very, very good deal for the people of Victoria. $30 million would appear to be a fantastic deal. Well, I've got to restrain myself. I'm really, really excited. This has been a, this has been a long time baking, um, but we've reached agreement and, um, and we're letting our clubs know, as you know, that today and you guys, and um, I don't think, uh, I think it's a, a huge day for uh, Melbourne football in particular, but also for Australian rules football nationally. And, and I also think it's a, a very good day for the state of Victoria, because in the view of the Australian Football League, um, we think our presence there um, will kickstart the Docklands Authority. But on that particular issue, you ought to, of course, talk to Docklands, but we, that's why I think it's good for Victoria. I think this probably um, would enable the Docklands Authority to proceed with an enormous amount of confidence. I'm a Waverley person. I uh, have an emotional attachment to it. But um, I think when you look at the whole scene objectively and look at the alternatives, and uh, if it becomes a question of comparing one with the other, notwithstanding that it's hard to predict the future, certainly the future lies, I think, with the up-to-date stadium in the Docklands. I think television is going to play a much more important part and in terms of the people who will be watching the game, either on telly or at the game in, in the few foreseeable future, I think it's going to be better served by the Docklands. And I think the... Um, I don't, I'm not as used to um, superlatives as perhaps Wayne is, but at the end of it, uh, we'll have an unencumbered title. And even at the worst possible case, if the stadium doesn't turn out to be what it is or what it's supposed to be, we'll have a title to some very valuable real estate in the centre of Melbourne. 